fish right here. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you all how to temporarily fix the destination signs um, not showing up in the Chicago Midwestern Edition map for MC2. Um, this is a various problem that comes around for almost everyone that fresh installs the map. Um, so I've just fresh installed the map a couple of days ago um, due to school and everything. I haven't been on my PC as much now. but if a lot of you know, um, I'm quite active over in the VTC, Virtual Transportation Center Discord, as I'm one of the support members, also server staff as well. Um, far as the few people who have come along and asked for help with fixing this problem, I've given instructions on how to fix this problem, and a lot of people have said, even after I've given them instructions, that it doesn't, that it does not work. So, the purpose of this video is to actually show you what I do on camera to actually get the destination signs working. Um, as you've seen in the beginning of the video, the intro part, I actually showed you that I didn't have, like, the I think it's the very first clip, like, I didn't have, I didn't do the fix for the files and everything. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that today. So, without further ado, stay tuned. Now, a lot of you should already have the Chicago Midwestern Edition file downloaded. The only thing I did was right click and extract here on my desktop. Now, I've already put the maps folder in game. I mean, not in game, in my MC2 root directory. So, I'm going to drag this over here. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, fuck. Okay. So, open this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my MC2 root directory and I'm going to bring these two windows together so that way I can work much better. So first we're going to do the Chicago City Bus. We'll go ahead and drag this down. And what are you going to want to do for this? This is the Krugerhof. This is for... Buses such as the Flexible, the Gillig, the Phantom, the BRT, um, you know, you get it. So I'm just going to drop this in the Flexible photo so that way when I come to edit that, I know where it's at. So now what you want to do, you want to want to exit up out of that folder. You want to want to go to the OMC2 root directory, your maps folder, then your Chicago Midwestern edition folder. So since I said we're going to do the Chicago City bus first, we're going to go to that folder. We're going to right click and open the hoff file with Notepad++. I strongly recommend using Notepad++. Notepad++ um, Notepad works too, but you know, my preference is Notepad++. You have a lot more features and everything to work with. So, this is the hoff file. And what you want to what you are going to want to do next is open the global.config file, which is the map file. I'm going to open this with uh, Notepad++ as well. So now, actually I should have probably opened that one with Notepad to put it together. So now we have the global.config file, which is the map file for Chicago Midwestern Edition. And we have the Chicago City Bus Hoff. So this is what I do. And what I've discovered is that determined fix for the time being until the actual creator of the map goes and corrects the hot file. So what you want to do is highlight this all the way from Chicago to edition. Right click, copy. Now, going over to the hot file, a lot of you may see that it's already like this the same way as the uh, map file. But in terms of that, you're wrong because, as you see, if I highlight this, this has an extra added space after it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to click Paste. And as you can see, when I go to highlight it again, there is no added space after it. You're going to want to do the same thing for these two down here because these two have the extra added space. Right-click, Paste. Highlight, right-click, Paste. Now, you want to scroll down. Go to the name part in the hoff file, 
do the same exact thing right click I mean highlight right click paste and we're gonna save that so now you can close those out now the next thing you're gonna want to do is go to the AI list AI list.config file we're gonna have to do some changes in there I'm gonna open this with notepad and as you see right here this is the name of the hoff file of what's gonna get used so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight right click and paste on all of these um, I'll probably speed this part up so you don't have to sit here and watch me go do this forever Now, as a lot of you may have just seen, as I stated before I sped the video up, what I did was I went down to this part right here, which this is the name for the determined hoff file that you want to use for the specific bus. And as you guys seen in the beginning, it was Chicago, then it had a parenthesis right here, and then it had a parenthesis after addition, because as you can see, the name of the map folder right here is Chicago Midwestern Edition in parentheses. What I did was I went back, highlighted, right click, paste. The only difference is I took the parentheses out. That is the major thing in order to get the hard files to work correctly for this map. Only thing you really have to do is take out the parentheses, but as easy as that may sound, it's not that easy. Um, so, after you change all of that in the AI list, what you're going to do is going to go to File, click Save. That's going to save that. So now, we're going to go down to the Flexible Metro E. And we're going to do the same exact thing to this. Now, perfect example right here. As you can see, this has Chicago Midwestern Edition with parentheses plus an extra added space this is the difference open this right here uh, bring these two windows together even though the map is the same exact way while you have while you have it like this in the AI list it's still gonna be wrong because as you can see in the hall file it has an extra added space after addition. That's what that extra blank gray part is right there. And as you can see right here, this has no extra added space. Now, I can add an extra added space like that, and it'll work. As you can see, because this has an extra added space in the hard file, and in the AI list, this has an extra added space. But from my testing and from what I have done, I found removing the parentheses altogether is what works best. So, now I'm going to correct this. I'm going to highlight from Chicago to addition. And make sure, and the thing is, guys, when you're highlighting, make sure you go all the way over to the right so we're selecting the added space as well. And what you're going to do is you're going to right click, paste. Do the same thing for these two down here. And then what you're going to want to do is scroll down to the name as well. And as you can see, this has an extra added space as well. You're going to want to do the same exact thing. And as you can see, we have Chicago Midwestern Edition. No extra added space, no parentheses. And you're going to want to save. So now, 
you're pretty much done when it comes to editing the files part. So now I'm actually going to show you in game how this works. Now, as a lot of you guys can see, we're currently in game now. Um, I have the map loaded up. I'm going to do it like a random spot. I believe this is first. So as you can see, the destination signs work. And as I stated in the intro, I did show a clip of the sign here. The destination sounds work now. As I also stated, um, this is personally what I did. Just something I went and did from exploring. Um, but as you guys can see, the destination signs do work, and I have. Where the hell am I at? I've showed you guys proof that they do work. Um, I don't know why. But, um, yeah, as you guys can see, the distance is on. That's what I need. Hoff, which is the off file that I placed in a flexible folder. Um, so, like I did say, um, that's pretty much there. All there, there's pretty much all it is to it. Oh my God, what is English? It is currently eight o'clock in the morning, as you can see. So, English is not my best friend. Um, but I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Um, I know I'm not the best person to probably explain this, but um. You know, the, at least there's someone like myself who is willing to help others with this. Um, so they can get the full enjoyment and experience of the game as well. Instead of, you know, complaining about what doesn't work and what does work or what have works. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's pretty much the point of this video. So I can help everyone else out. Considering um, there was a few folks that have said uh, the instructions that I typed out for them did not work. So... I figured why not show them on video. But yeah, um hope you guys do enjoy this tutorial. Um I probably will make a couple more of these in the future. Um I do have to build up my confidence for it cuz I like I said I'm not a perfect person. Um I'm not the best person in the world to do this, but you know, I will do what it takes to make it work. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope this in I hope this works for you as it works for me. I hope everyone enjoyed. Take care.